Miss Pneumatic here. Today we will learn about one of the operation methods of solenoid valves, pilot operation method. This product that I gave a peek at in my last video is a solenoid valve with a pilot structure. It is hard to see from the outside, but if you look closely at the internal structure, you can see what principle the pilot method uses. Let's check out an animation to learn about the types of solenoid valve operation methods and the pilot operation method. The operation methods of solenoid valves can be divided into the two main groups of direct acting and pilot types. Today, we will learn about the pilot operated method. What does pilot operation method mean? In order to understand the pilot operation method, you first need to know the operating principles of solenoid valves that I uploaded last time. If you aren't sure about the operation principle, click on the card on the top to learn about the operating principles of solenoid valves in further detail. Back to the main subject. Let's take a brief look at the operating principle of solenoid valves that we learned about in the previous video. We will send a current to the solenoid valve that was disconnected. The plunger moves by the magnetic force generated from the coil to move the piston and spool. I actually omitted something to simplify the internal structure here. It is the thin pilot line connecting to the supply port of the compressed air. The line inlet is called the pilot port or pilot hole. This pilot line is the key part of the pilot operation method. We can lead in compressed air through the pilot line to move the piston and spool. Let's now learn about the principle for the pilot operation method using the internal structure including the pilot line. Let's look at the pilot single acting valve structure again. No current is flowing in the solenoid coil right now. In this state, we will supply compressed air through supply port 1. Then the compressed air comes into port 1 and goes out of port 2. And then some of the compressed air flows into the pilot hole in the middle of number 2 and 4. The compressed air flowing in through the pilot hole is then divided into the directions of the spring and plunger for supply. The compressed air that flows toward the spring helps the spring to push the spool to the opposite direction. And then the compressed air that flows in toward the plunger becomes filled near the closed plunger. And then we will send the current. Once the current begins to flow, the plunger is pulled by magnetic force, and the compressed air that is filled in the area is supplied toward the piston through the hole between the plunger and piston. The compressed air then pushes the piston and spool. But there is something we should take note here. Compressed air with the same pressure is sent to both sides, then why does the piston push toward the spring? To answer this, we need to first know the basic fluid dynamics equations. Among the numerous fluid dynamics equations, the equation on pressure is pressure equals force over area. Therefore, it becomes force equals pressure times area. According to this equation, the larger the pressure or area, the stronger the force. When looking at the structure of single-acting solenoid valves, we can see that compared to the area for which the compressed air touches the spool, the area that touches the piston is larger. Thus, when presuming that the pressure of the fluid supplied toward the piston or the spring is the same, the force that occurs on the spool area is larger than the area applied on the area of the piston. That is why the piston and spool are pushed to the left. Using this principle, the fluid flow can be controlled by moving the piston and spool in this pilot type. Let's learn about the features when using the pilot operation method. First, minimum operation pressure is needed. The pilot solenoid valve has a structure in which once electric current and the plunger is pulled by magnetic force, the supplied compressed air pushes the piston and spool 
Therefore, in order for the valve to operate, compressed air with minimum operation pressure is needed in addition to magnetic force. For your information, in this product used as an example, operating pressure of 1 to 1.5 bars must be supplied. The minimum operation pressure for each product may be different, so please check the specifications prior to purchasing. Secondly, the response is slow. The pilot operation method first moves the plunger when currents flow in the valve, and then the supplied compressed air pushes the piston and spool. And so the response time can become slower in the course of compressed air arriving at pushing. The third is the large flow that can be regulated. The solenoid must be larger to control larger flows. When comparing with similar valve sizes, the pilot type has a larger flow so it can regulate compared to the direct acting type. The pilot type does not control flow solely with the magnetic force of solenoid valve, but because it uses compressed air, it is possible to control relatively large flows. The fourth is the low electric consumption. The pilot type valve operates with smaller solenoid force compared to the direct acting type, and therefore it also has lower electric power consumption. You should consider the various features of pilot operation methods and purchase the one that best fits your needs. That's it for today! We learned about the operation method types, operation principles, and features of solenoid valves. If this was helpful, please click like and subscribe. I will come back with more useful videos later. Bye! Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision 